The other option in this machine uh, is after the after we have discussed the panoramic mode, uh, we can also take two or three other modes, uh, which is the SIF. The lateral SIF, you can activate it after activation uh, through the, just like through Axiom, the regular way, the, w the, the same way that we have um, activated the machine for pan exposure. What you're going to do is that you ex first of all, you choose the patient and then you activate the X-ray, regardless of the panoramic of the surface, it's all the same. What you do, or if you need to change, you need to change it in here. So on this part, the easy part, or the control panel, you're, go panel, you're going to click on SIF. And you will see that you have too many options, C3, C2, AP, that is anterior posterior, C1, which is posterior anterior, and there is the uh, uh, hand wrist. Uh, this is also used or sometimes recommended by orthodontists to see the closure of the phalanges so that you can choose in between these. However, those views, the, mo the, mo the most commonly used one is the C3 projection, which is the lateral self. After you choose the lateral self, then you will see that an, a, a, a help message will come here is that click the R button so that you can move into the uh, static position. We need to click on the R button several times though so because there are many steps that need or, or resetting of the machine. So the first one you will see that the machine will start moving in two ways. The first one is that the x-ray machine is going to be moving the, the x-ray source. It will move in a way so that it will be perpendicular on the sensor. Okay? So, again, you will have another help message to asking you move into the SIF starting position. So you're going to click on reset and by so doing, you will see that the lateral SIF has started into or moved into the starting position. So the reset. So just to um, recap: first of all, you have to activate through the axiom. Second, you are you need to give the exposure order. Then you're going to shift to the self. Shifting to the self, you will have two messages. One is that when the X-ray source is going to be uh, placed 90 degrees on the on the exposure and the other uh, on the sensor and the other uh, uh, R message is going to move the uh, uh, x-ray source and the sensor into the uh, lateral self starting position. In the lateral self position, uh, you have the cephalostat, which is this part. The cephalostat can move in different directions. This is the frontal stat. You can move the cephalostat. This is the position of the lateral self. If you got, if you need a PA skill, then you have to move the frontal stop away and then you're going to rotate this so that the patient will be in this position. And this is the same position for the uh, uh, wrist exposure. However, we're not going to talk about the wrist. Let's, let's stay on the lateral self. In the lateral self, the frontal stop, this will be rotated in this direction. You listen to the click. So it means that it is locked in place. And then you're going to use the sleeves to cover the ear lobes or ear olives in this, in this way because these will be introduced or it will enter into the patient's uh, external auditory meatus. You need to use three of these, two on the um, lateral support and this as you can see it moves according to the patient's head size and then you're going to use another one over here 
so that you will, because this will be placed on the frontal stop or frontal nasal suture of the patient. And then, after that, you're going to uh, adjust the height of the machine through the uh, 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 those arrows, which are the up and down arrows over here. So you can increase, just like we have done in the uh, lateral set. So you ju adjust it in a way uh, so that when the patient is when the patient is going to uh, be positioned here, the earlobes, those external ones, it will be in the same height of the patient ears, so that this will fix the patient, that the patient's head will not rotate in either way, right or left. Uh, you know that the cephalostat is of vital importance, and it's because you know that this is a true lateral skull projection. But we need to stabilize the patient. You need to uh, 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 use the cephalostat. The idea is that it fixes the patient's head in three dimensions. It, fi it, doesn't, it, it doesn't allow the rotation of the head in either side, okay? And to the right or left. And the frontal stop, it will be, as you will see, when we position a patient, it will be placed into the frontal nasal suture which guarantees that the occlusal plane or the Frankfurt plane of the patient will be parallel to the floor. And then there is another step that needs to be taken, or two steps. One is placement of the lead apron, and second, we need to ask the patient to close in maximum or in, in maximum occlusion. And this is very important because we want the teeth, all of them, to be occluded. And the same uh, before we do the exposure, and we will know now, now how to do it. Okay, so uh, our patient, Ahmed, will, will, will um, do a radiograph. Actually, we'll just demonstrate. First of all, you have to make sure that the lead apron is placed properly, and you inform the patient that the lead apron is heavy, especially for those who, do, who have not ex put a lead apron before, so it will not be you know, surprised. Second is that we ask the patient to remove any uh, eyeglasses, anything inside the oral cavity, just like with any other exposure, what, anything which is removable, like um, a denture, even acrylic dentures, chrome cobalt, anything that can be removed, space maintainers, those removable ones, uh, orthodontic appliances, all should be removed uh, prior to exposure and make sure to, to make this a habit to ask your patient even in oral radiography. Pregnant ladies must be uh, any lady who thinks that she is pregnant or pregnant again should be asked if there is any um, chance or if you really need the x-ray then all the measures that uh, to protect the lady from the exposure should be done. Anyway, lateral self, lateral self and OPG, both of them might involve um, uh, long exposure times and higher doses of radiation. So if you can just shift, if in cases of emergency, to a periapical radiograph, this will be needed. Or this will be the um, proper thing to do. Uh, we don't want to expose the fetus regardless, because even the doses are very minute, but we don't want to expose the uh, fetus to unnecessary radiation and make sure that the pregnant lady signs a consent form which is available with the nursing staff before doing any radiation. Now we will uh, place the patient or position the patient into the lateral cell. <coughs> uh, make it a habit is that you tell the patient what you what you are going to do, so he will not he will just follow you, follow you and he will not be su uh, uh, surprised by any sudden jerky movements of the machine. Or, and then he will move. Movement of the patient is an abs absolute contraindication in, in any radio, uh, radiographic examination because of the image and sharpness that will result. So, what we're going to do is that we, we will just guide the patient backwards. Now for Ahmed, see, we need to raise the machine up and then so, and so that the earlobes will fit into the external of the telemeters. So, I will just move it again, and it will move slowly and then go fast. 
Now this is a tentative movement. I will lead the patient backwards. Okay. Now we can see that it has been, uh, it has gone a bit uh, higher. So I will just make it down. Okay. And then I will push the two ends here. Still, it's up. I'll just push it a few millimeters down. Okay. Now the two earlobes, I will just make sure that those two earlobes fit in both sides, right and left. It's just a snap, you know, it snaps in. You don't need to push it so hard uh, uh, and uh, uh, irritate the patient. Now, if you can see here that sometimes what happens, the patient, they don't close in either, both, both sides, right? So the idea here is that when you just fit them in, both sides, make sure to look inside, okay, as you can see in here. Now, both, both ear lobes have gone into right and the left uh, uh, ears, uh, external auditory meatus, okay. The next thing, now this will guarantee or this will stabilize the patient and prevent movement in either side, right or left. The other two things that I need to take care of is that the patient's head the Frankfurt plane should be, or the occlusal plane should be parallel to the floor. Okay, and this is very important in the lateral self and in the true lateral. So, what, to, to assure this, you're going to use the frontal stop. The frontal stop, as you can see, it moves forward and backwards just to accommodate the, for the patient's height, and then you're going to bring it down. This stop should go into the frontal nasal suture and to, this will be adjusted in height from this knob. So you lift it up and then you push it. See, it's, I just put it and this, see, this is how it goes. Now this has guaranteed the, or position the patient so that the patient's head does not move up or down. Okay, now the cephalostat has done its job. A patient's skull has been stabilized. The other thing that I should take care of is that before the exposure, the patient should be biting in the maximum occlusion. <clears throat> Patients usually, unless they know what they are, or a dentist, know what maximum occlusion is. But for a layman, uh, you have to ask him in a way, just like a maneuver. We ask the patient to open wide, swallow, and then yes, yeah, swallow and no, swallow and keep swallowing and close your teeth. Okay? Swallowing, when the patient swallows, we cannot swallow properly unless we are in maximum occlusion. So the best way to do this is that you ask the patient to open wide, swallow, and then keep swallowing because when he swallows or she swallows then the teeth are in maximum occlusion okay now we with this and we ask him to keep closing the teeth what happens is that most of the patients when you ask them to close they will close in this relationship bringing the anterior teeth together or in contact which is not the correct way you have to have all teeth occluding so ask him to open Swallow and keep swallowing. By so doing, he's, he brought his teeth or her teeth, if she was a female if patient, in maximum occlusion. Now the patient is seated, okay? This is okay. And this one is correct. And this is also the soft tissue filter that we will uh, choose the soft tissue profile of the patient. Then the patient is ready for exposure. We ask the patient not to move. The exposure time in the lateral self is sh much shorter. It's only 4.7 seconds, so it, it's lesser exposure time. And we ask the patient not to move, do the exposure, watch our patients uh, throughout the exposure time so that he or she will not move. When the exposure is done, okay, we've done the exposure, you will do the reverse of what you have done. First of all, you will take this out flip it away from the patient's head, and then you will remove these away, and then you will guide your patient out of the exposure. Remove the lead apron, and the, make sure that the lead apron, you just hand it right, and then the patient, the lateral self-exposure has 
is 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 done.